Amazon's chart, you'll see that over the last week it was up 1%. And over the last month, it's been down. Uh, let's see. Look at the monthly chart. I here's how I like to invest is look at the monthly, the six month chart, and of course the yearly chart. But if we look at the last month, it's been a great time to invest in Amazon because it's been down quite a bit from 199 down to 166. So that is key in investing in stock to know where the uh, stock price is going. Uh, overall, if we look at the stock price of Amazon over the last year, since January, the stock is up quite a bit. Okay, so um, when we look at the stock, well, actually, let's look over the year. Um, since October, the stock was trading right about 132, and it's got as high as one. 99 okay so that's a nice spread we can see amazon chart has come quite a ways from 132 back in october to 199 now it's down a bit you know down to 165 but it's still a great price on the chart okay so you see 132 to 166 which still is pretty much a 19 19 or 20 percent gain and that's how you pretty much look at the charts. You look, you look a year back, six months back, and up to possibly even a week. Uh, the one thing you don't want to necessarily do is buy always on the peak. So you know some people will catch a stock and they always catch it at the peak, one sixty six. Sometimes what you want to do is basically dollar cost average on the dips. Okay, so if you could get Amazon chart and Amazon. Amazon stock as low as 151, that's a better deal than catching it here at 162. Now, does it come down that much? We don't know how far it's going to dip at times, but you want to keep your dollar cost average low. Okay. Your dollar cost average price could be 150, could be 160 on average. Okay. But that's over buying it over several months. Now, in this particular stock, I'm up 30%, okay? So even if we look at the yearly chart, over the last year, Amazon stock is up 20%, but I actually got into this stock before the year. I got in a little bit, probably right around here, September, or so at 125. So I'm still pretty much up in, the, in my position in Amazon because I bought in early, okay? Now this was... Post split, when Amazon stock split, I was able to buy in at the low price and I just let the, the stock ride. But pretty much the stock will move from anywhere from 1% to 2% a day. Uh, and it could also move down 1% to 2% a day. We saw that last week with a lot of stocks. If we look at Amazon, uh, let's see. Well, we saw that last week here. Uh, August 1st, the stock dropped significantly from 184 down to 166. Okay, so pretty much a stock will move 1% to 2% a day. It's your job as an investor to get the best price for the stock. Um, generally, I like to set a price target for myself. So if I'm buying Amazon right now, I'd love to catch it at 160 you know, with a price target of, let's say, 186 or even better, uh, 199 to exit. It's up to you when you sell out of a stock, but you have the dollar cost average in to build the position. Now, if we look at my NVIDIA, 